The man who shot Attack of the 50-Foot Woman, cinematographer Jacques Marquette, was also one of the producers. In an interview years later, Marquette directed one of his biggest criticisms of the movie toward the director, Nathan Duran. It wasn't that Duran did a lousy job. Rather, according to Marquette, he was simply too artistic, too much of a perfectionist. Marquette was criticizing Duran for trying to make the movie good. In Duran's defense, he was an Academy Award-winning art director, winning for 1941's How Green Was My Valley. But you didn't see the name Nathan Duran in the credits. He insisted on being credited under a different name, Nathan Hertz. No explanation was given. None was needed. Up next, we go from low budget to big budget with Burt Lancaster, Dean Martin, George Kennedy, and Jacqueline Bissett heading up an all-star cast in a movie considered the granddaddy of all disaster films. Today on Turner Classic Movies, Helen Hayes is part of an all-star cast all aboard for Airport. Then Sean Connery concocts a brilliant heist in The Great Train Robbery. And pool shark Paul Newman has a fat chance against Jackie Gleason in The Hustler.